I would like to take a moment to thank the administration, uh, Father Joe, Mr. Escala, for showing up today in, in a very special time for our young men. Thanks to Pat and Monty McDermott, our athletic director, for all the opportunities that they've given me to come here to St. John Bosco to try to be a part of these young men's lives. Um, as a head football coach here at, at St. John Bosco, I'm very honored and privileged to be able to work with athletes that have the ability athletically to play at the next level. Um, as everybody knows, the number of scholarships that are available for the high school athlete, as far as, far as football is concerned, I think is around 2,500, right, Mr. Bruce? That's we right. talked about it on Sunday. Anyway, 2,500 student athletes get a Division I, 1AA college scholarship to play the game of football. Each, wow. each and every year, and we have six of those athletes here at St. John Bosco, so we're very fortunate. Um, I think, and I want to take a moment to thank and um, just have an opportunity to acknowledge these young men for what they were able to do on the athletic field and all the hard work, the commitment, and the time that it takes to work not only during practice here on campus, but also externally, whether they're in the weight room or they're out um, in the beach working out doing the different types of training activities that they need to improve their game. But the most important, impressive thing that I would have to say about these six individuals that are standing up here, or sitting up here in front of you today, is the fact that they've taken care of their academic responsibilities, which is allowing them to have this opportunity to go play at the college level. If they did not take care of their academics in the classroom with the proper GPA, or take the test, SAT or the ACT, and receive the proper score, in order to sign these letters, they would not be up here today. It doesn't matter the amount of talent, or how good of a football player, any other type of sport athlete that you might be, if you do not have the proper combination of athletics on the field and talent, as well as what you have in the classroom in terms of talent, you are not going to be able to sign a Division I college scholarship. These gentlemen were able to do that. And it's a very demanding sport. The time commitments are extreme for these young men, and they were able to balance it out completely, and I'm really proud of that. So if we can just give them a real quick round of applause. And they are probably a little shy, and I'm gonna call them up one at a time, and they're gonna have a, um, an opportunity to address you, to speak a little bit on uh, their accomplishments, and talk to you a little bit about the decisions of um, the college choices that they made and at the first young man that I would like to introduce is somebody who joined us this year moved from up north down here and joined St. John Bosco High School um, as a member of our football team and school community from Monta Vista area and that is number 28 he was a defensive back and uh, wide receiver for us Mr. Dallas Bruce. Transferring down from Mona Vista has been an absolute blessing for me. Being able to come to a great school like Bosco with uh, the support in the classroom and out of the classroom and uh, on the field and for my family. Um, I'd like to thank my dad, first of all, for being there for supporting me, being able to have, give me the opportunity to be able to play a sport that I love, football, and show me everything he has to, uh, to show me. Uh, my mom, my grandparents, Coach Negro, for everything he's done. Uh, taking us out there every Friday to, Friday to win those games. Um, Coach Price, Coach Treggs, uh, the ones that maybe uh, to the fullest extent have dealt with my recruitment and allowed me to get the scholarship that I did. And Bosco as a whole for supporting us and me not, and the fellow teammates that are over there. Edmund Venegas, please report to room 408A, Edmund Venegas. And uh, the reason why I chose this university that I chose was just the fit for me in the classroom side is just for me, you know, and uh, the coaches, I love fell in love with coaches in the community, and that's why I'll be attending the University of Eastern Washington with Charles Red. Congratulations to Dallas, and uh, that's quite a